Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Feminine Diaries for the 21st of June 2023. It's the solstice, the longest day. Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, yes. Again, the year 1991 is coming through for somebody. Either somebody's born in 91 or somebody remembers something that... Oh my god, it's the 63 person again. This is very weird. So there is a 63 year old or somebody born in 63. And there's a message that keeps coming through about this person from 1991. It's um, 66. Somebody could also be 66, 62. Oh boy. Okay. So what about 1991? Also 9A. 9A could also be significant. Could be an address or a code for something. Four of Wands. With the Four of Wands, this could talk about somewhere they lived or somewhere they worked. Could be about the home, something that happened in the home or at work somewhere. Could be outside. Somebody could work outside. Uh, it could be a building site, for example. Somebody could be a builder or they have some other out door activity that they do six of swords traveling somebody travels for work this could be a construction worker or somebody who travels somewhere to to build something or to present even because the four of wands could be like a stage so this is a lecturer possibly somebody who goes to a lot of conferences this could be somebody who could be a musician who goes on tour and sings on stage. This could be an actor who has to travel to different locations to film. This is an older person. This could be somebody who is a baby boomer. And uh, this person may have worked a lot around 91. They could have traveled a lot to lots of different places. Eight of Cups. Eight of of cups again talks about moving traveling walking away from something this person could work at night with the eight of cups four of swords knight of wands yeah this is somebody who travels all over the world they could be an entertainer of some sort or this could be somebody who spreads knowledge so they could also be a teacher a lecturer a politician this person talks a lot. Knight of Wands. Yeah, and goes back and forth. And we've got the Queen of Cups here on the bottom of the deck. The Fool, the Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands, King of Wands. This could be even a group of musicians. Queen of Cups is Pisces energy. There are a lot of musicians who are Pisces. So it does make me think of... Um, Singer, possibly. And now look at this. As I said, singer. King of Cups flipped over. So this is a message about a singer. Could also be a psychologist, possibly. Or a doctor. So somebody could be involved in something like Doctors Without Borders. Or they were involved in 91. Or around 91. So we've got either a singer or psychologist, psychiatrist, doctor, something like that. King of Pentacles. King of Cups and King of Pentacles. Could be a water sign or an earth sign. But this could also talk about the profession because I kept trying to figure out what profession this person has. And I've got King of Cups with King of Pentacles. So this person, whether they're a psychologist or a singer or a doctor, they made a lot of money. So this is somebody who's very good at what they do with the two kings here. And yes, it's somebody who's possibly over 60. Four of Cups, Six of Wands, Five of Swords. Okay, this person felt rejected. They have rejection wounds. Six of Wands, so they uh, look for attention, a lot of attention and acclaim from people. Five of Swords. This is my narcissist card, basically. So, yeah, this person could have narcissistic tendencies because they felt neglected as a child. 
this person could even be somebody who is an expert in emotional issues like a psychologist or a psychiatrist basically or they express emotions deep emotions right and it could be positive or negative four of swords two of pentacles 82 something about 1982 could be significant also 78 782 i don't know so this person has a lot of issues from the past that they're still struggling with so what can they do about this knight of swords seven of swords they're running away from something there's still something that they're avoiding about their past possibly taking accountability for something or admitting something to themselves i'm not sure what why are we talking about this person's past so much knight of pentacles maybe because of a child this person could have a child because the fool's a child knight of pentacles to the king of pentacles somebody much younger two of swords ace of wands there is a blockage here to a new beginning this person might want to have a new beginning either with their child Maybe this person has separated from the mother and they don't have access to their child anymore. The child could be an adult now, even if it's a child to, to this person, they could be an adult. And um, maybe this person wants to fix their relationship with their child. Also, this person could, could be interested in somebody romantically. That's another thing. And this person shouldn't be repeating things that happened in the past. So maybe they want love, but they are not capable of maintaining a relationship, even if they want love. So that's the thing here. This person's heart chakra is blocked. This person could be in their lower chakras with the Ace of Wands here. Makes me think of the sacral chakra. So the heart is blocked. Nothing goes past maybe the sacral or the solar plexus chakra. Okay. right five of wands this person could be very aggressive this could be a, somebody who has physically abused people four of pentacles nine of wands this person is very traumatized themselves but they also traumatized others 93 91 and 93 maybe between 91 and 93 22 two of cups two of wands six of wands 26 26th of february is coming through again also 2nd of June and 6th of February, 4 of Cups, Queen of Swords, 9 of Cups. So, this person's thinking about their past a lot and people they hurt in the past. But like I said in the other reading, this person seems to be coming back with um, the 6 of Pentacles almost came out in reverse. So this person is not trying to um, make amends, really. This person might need help. So they could be trying to come back to a particular woman from their past, or they're even trying to start a new relationship with a new woman. And um, this man just wants to use this person. Two of Cups. We do have the Two of Cups, though. So he feels like he does love this woman. 36, 93. <sighs> so he does want to have a relationship with a particular woman here. He wants to have some kind of partnership. But there's a lot of trauma here. Three of pentacles. Nine of swords. Anxiety. Somebody has anxiety about being in a relationship. Five of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, 53, somebody be 53, Nine of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. So you see how we've got the Seven of Swords clarifying the Nine of Wands here. So somebody wants to hide the fact that this person is an abuser. Because they want to have a relationship with their child, possibly, or a younger person could be. 
Queen of Pentacles. It could be that he wants to have a relationship with his ex and his child. Or this Knight of Pentacles is the Queen of Pentacles. So it's a younger woman. Queen of Cups. Yeah, look at that. Look. Again, we've got these kings and these queens together again. Knight of Swords. Yeah, so it's, it's the same reading from yesterday this guy keeps watching he wants another outcome here he's trying to manifest another outcome to this reading that's why it's coming through again i have to buy a new deck for each reading i do i swear to god <laughs> okay so what's the advice for this man or these men this collective of men whoever these men are Nine of Pentacles, they're single men. Ten of Swords. So they were married once or they were in a relationship once and now they're single because they hurt these women. They broke these women's hearts. They could have put some of these women in the hospital or the mental hospital or something like that. I just saw 11-11 as I said that. The 11th of November could be significant. That's in Scorpio season. Scorpio's transformation. This person could be trying to change or that's what they're doing. But I keep getting messages that they're pretending they changed. Knight of Swords. Yeah, it's true. They're pretending. King of Wands. Four of Swords. Seven of Cups. They're causing an illusion here with the Seven of Cups. The illusion that they healed. Four of Swords could talk about healing. This person could be meditating a lot. And trying to manifest something. But with the King of Wands and the Knight of Swords. This is somebody who is very aggressive. Could be verbally or physically abusive. Ace of Wands. This person like I said. They are in their lower chakras. But they do want Two of Cups. With the Queen of Pentacles here. So they want commitment with somebody. Whether it's an earth sign or not, that depends. Could be an earth sign with water in their chart or water sign with earth in their chart. But um, it's somebody that they want to have a commitment with. Look, yeah. Queen of Pentacles. Again. So this is the person they're interested in. This is my Divine Feminine card in this deck. So Divine Feminine, this is somebody who's interested in having a relationship with you. But this person has abused either you in the past or others. And he keeps trying to convince me here that you should take him back. Queen of Pentacles, yes. <laughs> New beginning with the Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. This person also has a lot of attraction towards you. 44. 44 is the lunatic in my other deck. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. So this is a message for a single woman or an earth sign woman. And uh, this man wants to come in and love bomb you. Seven of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. I think this means you need to block this person with the Seven of Wands. Or take it really slow with this person. But they are coming in with some kind of offer. And it looks like you have to block the offer. That's how I'm seeing it. Queen of Pentacles. You're the Queen of Pentacles. Should you block this person's offer or just block them all together? Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Again, with the Seven of Swords. It's like they're giving you something, but they're actually taking. Because that's exactly the vibe I was getting yesterday. Even though they're coming in with an offer for you, it's um, it's like a trick. They're actually stealing from you. So they're making you a small offer so that you can give them more in return. They're only giving you something because they're hoping that they're going to get much more from you. Is this an energy vampire? Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, Seven, Seven. Pay attention to the red flags. So you could be getting a lot of red flags about this person. It's not just this reading. Queen of Pentacles again. So this is definitely a message for Divine Feminine. Could be an earth sign in particular. Doesn't have to be. But yeah, Seven, Seven. Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups. Seven of Wands means block them. Protect yourself. This person could even be psychically attacking you. Trying to create this illusion to make you fantasize about them. So you need to block this person and you, yeah, because they're trying to confuse you. It's Somebody could also be born in 1977, I guess. 
or the 7th of July. Six of Pentacles again. Okay, this is definitely a message for an earth sign because the pentacles keep coming out. Who's this message for? Who's this message for? Three of Swords. Could be an Aquarius. King of Cups. Could be a Scorpio, Pisces. So this is a message for him, I think, not for her. The guy who's trying to convince me here in the reading that he's good for you. Nine of Cups, the Fool. 69. Yin Yang. Okay. So what else does this person need to hear? Because this is a message for this man. It's not for you, Divine Feminine. Ten of Wands, Three of Wands. He needs to drop some kind of burden here. The monkey off his back. He needs to drop the monkey off his back or find out that there's actually a monkey on his back. That's what I'm getting. Eight of Swords. He's trapped in his head. He's trapped in a karmic cycle. And he's comfortable where he is. Being the fool. So this man needs to change. That's the message here. He needs to change his mindset about something. Also, he needs to be more self-aware. Because this is somebody, like I said, they're either born in the 60s or they're in their 60s already. Could even be the 50s. Eight of Cups. Knight of Cups. This person needs to walk away from the idea of romantic love for now. Because this person can only hurt the people around them. They're not good to anyone. King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's true. This person needs to grow up. They need to be the King of Pentacles, not the Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Again, he's trapped in his head. Three of Wands reversed. Something's not manifesting for him. And it's because of his mindset. So he's very foolish. This person's very foolish. This person could be overindulging or overspending. This person's still acting as if they're a little child. And they're very self-satisfied. They're very comfortable. They don't want to walk out of their comfort zone. They don't want to heal certain things. They don't want to act their age, basically. Knight of Wands, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. Look at that, Nine of Wands, exactly. What else should I say? The player card here, Knight of Wands, somebody who's very unstable, Five of Swords. This person could even be cruel to people. He could pe put people down and laugh in their face. Seven of Swords, they get away with, with this kind of behavior all the time. This person could also be a thief or they're just somebody who is a cheater, right? Knight of Wands with the Seven of Swords could talk about somebody who's always cheating on their partners. Who's very sneaky. There's, I'm getting kind of like, um, you know how Muttley laughs under his uh, whiskers? <laughs> That's kind of stuff. Nine of Wands. And this person could have even got away with beating people up, with abusing people physically. Okay, anything else? King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Divine Feminine, you need to block this person. Maybe you're born in 81 or the number 581 could be significant. 58, 58A, whatever. Anyway, um, this man needs to stay single and act like a grown-up. And uh, you can't help this man with this. He needs to figure it out himself. Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. This person might want to steal something from you too. What do they want to steal? 
Nine, your independence. They want to steal your independence. Nine of Wands. They want you to be a battered woman. at Begging at their feet. Because he's got the money here, right? And you're at the feet, right? You know, in the Six of Pentacles, you've got the guy with the money. Giving it to beggars. So, there we go. That's what they want. That's really what they want. This man just enjoys um, humiliating women. Destroying their future. So that's all I've got.